As you know, I'm doing the same things that you're doing, and I want to show you a clip of today, some of my activities, so you know what activities you should be out there doing right now. All right, today, what we were working on, we have here, as you may or may not know, I have a new client that I've been working with, and they're up in the Northeast United States. And we were looking at contracts over in Rhode Island. And uh, we were looking at those contracts. We noticed something. And what we noticed was that here, if you look at FPDS, if you look on top 10 contract agencies, we noticed that there was the Department of Navy. What I did was I went ahead and I looked up Navy. And I already knew because we have some ports near us, some naval submarine ports. And what I did was I went to the actual Navy's Office of Small Business Program's website. If you dig down a little bit further in FPDS, you'll see there's Naval Air Systems Command. There's the Naval Shoot Mid-Atlantic Registered Main Center. But if you dig down and you put in your actual NACS code, NAFAC was the organization that did all of the construction for Navy. So when I reached out to NAFAC and I gave them a call, um, I was calling from this particular list right here. And I didn't have, I, you know, when I went around and I looked on their website, this is what they gave for the regional small business deputies. So this is my list. And this is what it looks like what I called. So I went in and I called. And if you look here on the screen, you can follow with me on the screen over there. But I went ahead and I called the Mid-Atlantic region because I determined that the Mid-Atlantic was our region that was covering the Northeast United States. I called Mid-Atlantic region and then I called the Atlantic region. They gave me two numbers from Mid-Atlantic. I left the voicemail and then I sent them a follow-up email letting them know that we're a small business and that we were looking to do, and to, we're looking to do business with their agency. Um, afterwards, I called the actual Washington, D.C. office and I called the director from Washington, D.C., and left her message as well, sent her follow-up email. The very next morning, uh, the director of the Office of Small Business Programs, so who's over in the entire NAFAC, which is, is not only in the continental United States, but it's outside the continental United States. So NAFAC, uh, the way that they're broken down, if it says NAFAC Atlantic, it's anything that touches the Atlantic Ocean. If it says NAFAC Pacific, it's anything that touches the Pacific Ocean. And when they say Atlantic, that means even like Asia and Europe as well. But nevertheless, the reason why we're making this video today is because when I called them, they were so supportive and so cooperative that I had felt like I had to share this with you guys out there. Because if anybody is in the industry and NAFAC or the Navy is one of their clients, you've got to deal with these people. Do not be afraid to call because um, I literally, I'll now show you right now on the screen, but I called and the very next day I got a call back from their director of small business programs out of Washington, D.C. She called me first thing in the morning. And then she let me know that her team was very responsive and they were supportive of small businesses. And they encouraged me to reach out to everyone um, in her organization and that they would, they, she guaranteed that they would respond to me. And they did in a big way. So the follow-up email I'm going to show you now, this was actually the email that I received from this gentleman, Keith, over at NAFAC. He said that we could definitely meet, and he gave me a bunch of time slots to meet in conference. And then he sent me a whole slew of marketing materials. I mean, he sent me literally about 14 attachments. I'll show you what those things look like here. But he literally sent me all these attachments. You can see here some of the attachments. We'll pull them up on the screen. But I mean, what the wealth of information that he provided, he spent over an hour on the phone with me today. And I mean, I was exhausted. But he went ahead, he sent me all of these resources. He gave me a list of the small business specialists that handled the errors in my region. He walked me through their actual this PDF document. It's like a slide presentation that was given at a SAMI uh, meeting. Uh, if you don't know SAMI, Society of American Military Engineers, he walked me through this. He showed me how everything was done. He broke it down for me. They have a lot of money, and they really are actively well, wanting to work with small business firms. And I, I mean, it was excellent. Like I said, he, you know, he spent, he took the time to go with me. Uh, for those of you out there who are interested in becoming subcontractors, he gave me in my particular area the list of all the contract holders, all the primes. He gave me their contact numbers, their emails, everything. When we walked through this document, literally, he showed me uh, all these projects, their range of projects. And he said, if there's anything that I was interested in, to reach out to him, let him know, and that he would follow up on it to see 
uh, who I need to talk to and to get more information on that project. They do do 8A contracts. They do uh, 8A sole source projects as well. For those of you, they have hub zone max. They've got service disabled veteran on max. They've got 8A max. They run the whole gamut. In fact, like I said, they, uh, they do work over in Europe. They do work over in Asia. So, I mean, this, this particular organization, I think for small business out there, they are a gem of a resource. And I thought, uh, what better way today, um, this call that I left was to share it with you guys because it's fresh on my mind. It just happened. My call was at 10 a.m. this morning, Eastern time. Today is the 18th, July 18th. And so, like I said, they have IDIQs, they have Maytox, they have everything. NAFAC handles the construction, but like I said, they handle the entire country and their small business specialists are really key. And they, in fact, I would say just to, you know, because I know a lot of people out there, they're, they're attempting to make phone calls and talk to people. They haven't ran into much success, but this particular organization is one that if you, you know, and he was willing to schedule an actual one-on-one face-to-face meeting. But they're in Norfolk, Virginia. I'm in uh, Florida. And then my client's up there in the Northeast United States near Boston. So we decided I would just do a teleconference. And it was well worth my time. And I think that any one of you out there, if you see them on the horizon as a potential client, to definitely set up a one-to-one meeting with whoever is the small business person in the area. I will make any and all of this information available to anyone who requests it. I will also probably put a link to all of this stuff in the page below on YouTube. So if there's anyone out there that needs this information, I'll put a link below and I'll put all these documents in the file. And then that way you can just click the link. You don't have to subscribe or anything like that. You click the link and then you can download all this, this information. You can have a list of resources for NAFAC. So that was that's today's video. I thought it was definitely well uh, worth the time and it was worth it so much that I had to make a video to share it with you guys out there. Um, by the time this comes out, Hopefully, I will have had some more success. I could share some more stories um, after I follow up with the small business specials and the people that he referred and recommended to me. Thanks so much for watching. As always, we'll see you next time.